What's going on guys, Sean Gutierre here. Welcome to another Topic Tuesday. If you guys didn't see last week's video, it was about the old school Clipper companies versus the new age Clipper companies and who is gonna come out on top. So if you guys didn't see that, click the card up above and go check it out. It was a hot topic. Unfortunately, nobody left any comments on a topic for me to touch on today. So I came up with one that I think will bring you guys great value. It's the number one question I get asked on most of my YouTube videos and when I meet people in person. So today we're gonna talk about my top three tips to gain clientele. And make sure you guys stick around to the end. I'll give you my bonus tip at the very end to make sure you maximize all these tips and really gain the most clientele. So guys, tip number one is gonna be social media. And when we say social media, we talk about Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And I've had this discussion before with some other people and we had different opinions on this. Instagram for me, guys, is really to show off your work. So you post on Instagram, other barbers are gonna like it. It's a nice way to build a community with other barbers. But really, if you're trying to get your work out locally, it's a little more difficult. In the class, we use the example, if you live in Tampa and you post Tampa Barber with your haircut, when somebody looks up Tampa Barber, they're gonna see Chris Basio, S-Craft Blends, there's a lot of other talented barbers around, and so your work's gonna get lost in that. What I suggest is to use Facebook. It's a little more of a local platform. For example, guys, I have, let's say, 2,000 friends on Facebook, and we're gonna use easy numbers just to keep this simple, guys, but if I make a post, haircut, say, I'm in the shop Monday through Friday, these hours, come and see me. At the very bottom, I put like and share. So for one, 2,000 of my friends have the chance to see that. Those are my friends that I already have. If 10 of those people share my post, and they all have a thousand friends, then now potentially 10,000 people will see that post. If you do that frequently and you gain one or two clients each time, before you know it guys, you will have enough clientele to keep busy. You can even go a step further to share the post and win a free haircut or something along those lines and get even more people to share it. Again guys, every person that shares it say they have a thousand friends, that's another potential thousand people that will see the post. And ideally on Facebook, most people's friends are local. The majority of them are gonna be people they see on a daily basis. Of course, they do have some friends out of town and from back in the day or whatever it is, but most of that community is gonna be a little more local. So that's a strategic way that you can get your name out there the easiest. We did that with my shop. We made a promo video when we opened Clutch and it got 25,000 views. That just tells you how many shares and how that spread and how many people ended up seeing that in the long run. My number two way, guys, is an Ivan Zoot technique. Basically, let your clients work for you, guys. So say you get one client in. Suggest to them, hey, if I give you a couple business cards, would you tell a couple of your close friends to come see me. Now, of course, guys, we gotta make sure we give a good experience and a good haircut so that they want to recommend you, but you can offer, hey, if you send three of your friends in, I'll give you a free one next time. That's the easiest way to get your clients to work for you, word of mouth as well, but also we're gonna encourage them to go out using word of mouth and spread your name out there um, as a potential barber for their friends. And number three, guys, this is my most important one. Make sure that everywhere you go, everybody you run into knows that you're a barber. So this is as simple as wearing barber gear. Guys, I have barber tattoos, having a fresh haircut, whatever it is, make conversation with people, and all you have to do is suggest that you are a barber. You don't have to try to convince them to come and see you. One topic we always talk about is you don't really wanna approach people with bad haircuts and tell them to come see you because obviously they have a bad haircut. They don't care that much about their haircut. What you wanna do is find somebody with a good haircut or good hair, go up and compliment them. Hey man, I like your haircut. Where do you get your haircut? Well, if you ever need me, here's my card, or I work at this shop, whatever it is, and suggest that you know maybe one day when they can't get in with their barber, come see you and you'll take care of them. And again, guys, I go to the gas station, I talk to the clerks at the gas station, and they know that I cut hair. I go to the store to pick something up, they know that I cut hair. My car's got my barber shop on it. I wear barber shirts all the time. So the best thing you can do is just make sure that everybody around you knows that you cut hair, and hopefully when they need you, you'll be the one that they call. So guys, those are my top three tips, but without this last tip, all of those will fail and do absolutely nothing. And guys, this sounds silly, but make sure you're at the shop. Be the first one in, be the last one out. If you're the new guy and you go in first, you're gonna get that first head, and guys, every potential head can turn into a lifetime client. Not only that, but like we talked about, if that person goes and tells two or three people, that's how you grow your business. So if you're not there, you're gonna miss out on that person. Now let's talk about another topic we talked about. If I tell somebody when their barber's not available and they really need a cut to come see me, and they finally do, and I'm not at the shop, I lost that opportunity. They're probably not gonna come back. So it sounds silly, guys, but literally just the other day, I had one of my barbers that was out of town. He wasn't just slacking, but he was out of town, and somebody came in that had finally decided to cut his hair. It was an older man with a ponytail, uh, and he was looking for this barber. And so what happened? 
He wanted to go ahead and get it cut while he was there. He didn't end up going to the person that he wanted to go to because they weren't there. And maybe he turns into a client for my other barber. So guys, it's that simple. Be at the shop, gain every client you can, grab every head you can. And before long, you will have more clients that you can keep up with. I know a lot of people think you need like 500 clients to stay busy. Guys, at this point, I probably have just around 100 to 120 clients that I cycle regularly and it keeps me super busy. So I hope these tips were helpful for you guys. Super easy ways to gain clientele. If you guys like these tips and are gonna implement them on your daily routine, leave me a comment down below and let me know it. Like I said, guys, leave me some comments, some topics to talk about next week and I will pick one of your topics, shout it out on the video and we'll talk about it next week. So make sure you drop those in the comments section. Make sure you guys subscribe. I have a dope tutorial coming tomorrow on one of my new barbers. And of course we have more content coming immediately after that. So. I appreciate you guys stopping in for another Topic Tuesday, and I'll catch you next time.